Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you may be. Uh, CC here, Chris, uh, from New York, uh, Westchester County. It's a four ten twenty two. I don't even know what to say. I, I don't. I don't. I don't think water exists. <laughs> Emotional damage. Well, hello there, dearest viewer, and welcome back to my little corner of the YouTubies and another thriller fight break edition of Wacky Wednesday. Thank you so much for joining me. Now, before we go any further, please like, share, subscribe. That would be amazing. Thank you so much. And please, please, please come and join me on Patreon or become a channel member. These fantastic people did this very thing. Thank you so much to my patrons and channel members. Patrons Sven Bellens, Bob Sadler, Alan L, Cheeky Vlogs, Crystal Bergero, and to my channel members Sven Bellens, Cheeky Vlogs, and Dr. Osiris. Come and join us. Links are in the description. So let's crack on with today's video, shall we? And take it away, CC Chris. The floor is all yours. Oh, Jesus. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you may be. Uh, CC here, Chris, uh, from New York, uh, Westchester County. It's a four ten twenty two. So, good evening, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you may be. Right. How does that work on a flat Earth? Um, <laughs> not really sure. <laughs> I, I, I've noticed everybody who has uh, gotten the... Um, that have followed the procedures that New York State has required, of course, um, are sick. <laughs> everybody, everybody around me has a cold. Oh, come on. If I sneeze in a room of 10 people, more than half are going to get a cold. It's just as simple as that. Those closest to me, if I've got a cold, get a cold. So, Mr. C.C. Chris, I ask you. Where's the conspiracy? I talk to people, my friends on the phone, they have a cold. What's going on here? What have, what have they done? Well, they've just come into the contact, or come into contact with a cold virus. Simple as that, or if you want to be pedantic, the cold is a collection of viruses that survive better in cold weather than they do in warm weather. That's why more people in winter get colds. Simple as. I don't know how to explain it to you, Chris. I, I really don't. But I think I just did. And I hope you understand. <laughs> we knew. We knew not to do something they didn't want us to do. And we knew not to do it. And now that I'm seeing the people around me that I have, everybody's sick. Not got a clue what you just said there. Not a scooby. You're going to have to start making some sense, Chris, or I'm going to go off you quickly. Okay. All right. All right. Um, now to another topic. Thank Christ. It's a plausible possibility of beyond a flat earth. But the flat earth is an implausible impossibility, isn't it? Digital world. I want you to think about this for a minute. Uh, all of us have the same um, setting. Every morning, every evening. All of us. We have this beautiful colors that come out from the sun going away from us and the sun coming toward us. Because that's what it does. No, it flipping doesn't. It rises in the east. At high noon, it's at its highest, and it sets in the west in the evening. Nothing remarkable about that. It gives us life-giving energy. It warms our planet, and it gives us remarkable tan lines. All of us have this perspective. We all see this, no matter where you are. I've told you a million times before, Chris, stop it. What you are doing now is fibbing. 
you are fibbing now stop it the sun we all see this it goes up in the morning it goes above our heads and then it sets in the evening it doesn't come towards us like some friggin death star it just doesn't so stop fibbing how is that possible how is that possible on a ball that all of us see this beautiful amazing lights and the sun going away from us looks exactly the same way it does here and in your town or village or in your country it looks exactly the same way do you know i'm gonna let you into a bit of a secret here chris we see the same sun all of us all human beings on this beautiful globe earth see the same sun got it see i never noticed this when i would when i would go on vacation i haven't been on vacation in a long time i mean on a plane um I mean, it was before i was a flat earther and i just say I, I wish <laughs> you know you know what to look for now you know i mean that's that's the thing you know what to look for well <laughs> I don't know what exactly I'm supposed to be looking for, Mr. Chris. I mean, what am I looking for? Uh, enlightenment? Uh, the existence of God? Um, Matt Powell's comedy career? I, do, I, I, I don't know. You're going to have to help me out here, Chris. Television will never be the same. If you could even watch it. The news is nonsense. Hollywood is crap. <laughs> Can't disagree with you there, Mr. Chris. Now, the church is another thing. Okay. You see, the thing is, is when you become a flat earther, all right, you have to understand that there is a God that created all of this. Okay. No, no, no. You see, flat earth only exists in the minds of poles and conspiratards. That's an end to it. And, I'm sorry to say, there is no God. I don't know who he is she or whoever it may be created all of this it's just too perfect it's too perfect i wouldn't say perfect chris splendid the earth in parts is very very beautiful but in other parts it isn't over half of the earth's surface is covered in water that we can't drink there's millions upon millions of square miles of desert and snow so we can't grow anything so I wouldn't say perfect, splendid, yes, but not perfect, a bit like me. As a matter of fact, I don't even think outside of these, or outside of this wall, or this dome that we live under, I don't even know what to say, I don't, I don't, I don't think water exists. <laughs> yes, I know I was very, very sneaky right at the start of this video, implying that Chris doesn't believe that water exists. And yes, I did take it out of context, but at least I put it back into context, and I do deserve a spanked bot. So, Miss Scarlett Johansson, Jennifer Lawrence, Amelia Clark, Jodie Comer, if you're watching, come spank me. And Chris, a quick message for you. We don't live under a dome. It's, it's hard to explain, but um, I go back to the genie in the bottle. I'm a genie in a bottle. You know, you, you wanted to be down here. You wanted to see what was going on. Okay. If you were to invent something and make the world that we live in right now, you would create a paradise. Correct. Paradise? No. If I if I had the chance to build the world, I think what I'd do is make sure all parts of it, or at least ninety percent of it, was arable land. You know, something that you could grow crops into, something that you could raise livestock on. You know, I'd make all the world have variable weather patterns like we have here in the UK. I mean we had hailstone a couple of weeks ago 
in March. Mm -hmm. So, you, you know, that's what I'd do. I'd have it, you know, different parts of the world variable. I'd make sure they'd have houses and enough food to eat. You know, not necessarily a paradise, although that would be to some if you, you know, if you don't have those things, that would be to some. But can you imagine a world that God built? Whoa, Christ on a bike? No, thank you. You're not allowed to piss in swear. You're not allowed to drink San Miguel's or any alcohol. Any alcohol has gone for a button, by the way. You're not allowed to drink it, even though Jesus can turn water into wine. But by jibbity, can you drink it? No chance. You can't have sex before marriage. And prostitutes would be free. Where's the fun in that? Just like a fish tank. Okay. You would create something that is so perfect that every animal in that tank would accept it, would accept its reality. And you would do everything you could possibly do to make it safe. Okay? Now, what happens in that fish tank is a whole different story. And they can do whatever they want in that fish tank. But you yourself have to make that fish tank completely safe. Hmm, the fish tank analogy. I love it. So let's look at it from both sides, shall we? Me first, because I'm best. Anyway, I've got my little fish tank. I plan on getting a fish tank, by the way, because I love fish and not just the battered ones. Anyway, what I do with my fish tank, put some gravel in it, put the obligatory castle in it, some rocks, some plants, etc. Done. Water, obviously, put my fish in it and I give them enough food every single day so so obviously they don't die of starvation. Paradise for a fish. Along comes God. I don't believe that there's a God exists, so that's just me. But if he did, this would be his fish tank. He gets his fish tank, puts his gravel in, the obligatory castle, rocks, plants, etc, etc. So, puts his water in, chucks his fish in. Doesn't give them enough food, though. Don't know why. He gives the fish diseases. Don't know why. He puts other fish in there that will eat the littler fish. Again, don't know why. He puts bubbles in this fish tank to make sure the fish can't go there and spend any amount of time there. Right. So, this invisible sky wizard is an absolute maniac because fish, and I'm speaking to just the fish here, and comment below please your answers. Which fish tank would you rather live in? Mine or some invisible sky wizards? I think I know what you're going to say. Okay. And, you know, I, I, I keep getting back into water. Water we've never been able to digitize. Okay, we can never... All the computer programmers and all, all of um, uh, the coders can't make water look real the way we view it with our eyes okay we just can't do it we can think everything else trees and bushes and, and, and all that other stuff but we can't create an actual waterfall or a lake or anything like that when you're looking at the water itself it doesn't look real you know on a computerized screen what the f Pinora is he talking about here? I haven't got a Scooby. What? We live under a dome. We can't make water. Uh, it's digital. What? Oh, right. This is an open question. This is for everybody and not just fish. This is for everybody. Please comment below if you know what this guy's talking about. Please. I beg you. It's something to think about in our digital world. But back to the fish tank. You would create something that is so perfect. So, anyway. Just my thoughts. <laughs> on the flat earth that we live on here. Um... But we don't live on a flat earth! You know, with God. You know. I mean, when you become a flat earther, you realize God exists. You know. So let me get this straight here. I have to believe that the earth is flat to believe a god exists. I weep. 
I weep for humanity because there are people like this walking about. Oh, Jesus God. Somebody created all of this around us. Um, been looking up some videos. Well, that's this is actually, you know what? I'm gonna be doing. Look, I'm gonna be doing some more videos uh, next week, and I'm gonna be discussing exactly what the ice wall is actually made of. Ah, Mr. Chris, you might be in luck here because I can save you an awful, awful lot of time by telling you exactly what the ice wall is made of. Ice. 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 Now, you're probably expecting a little clip from the song Ice Ice Baby by Vanilla Ice. But I'm not going to do it. And for one very good reason. I can't stand the turd. Okay. Because, obviously, it's something we can't penetrate. We can't break through it. We tried to back in the 1950s. We launched off atomic bombs and, and all sorts of stuff. But uh, we never were able to break the barrier. And you know those little motherfuckers, if they did break the barrier, what were they thinking? <laughs> I mean, is that a man thing? You know, really? You just gotta blast up fucking atomic bombs up there and blow the fucking thing up? What happens if that actually did break? They're risking our lives. Well, that goes to the government. Uh, uh, okay. All right, all right, all right. Well, <laughs> discussion next week about this. You know, okay. All right, you know what? I thank you for subbing. I thank you for uh, viewing my videos and maybe be a part of your life. Whoa, he has really lost it, hasn't he? Wow, and that's CC Chris, all done, dusted, and delivered for your viewing displeasure. Thank you all so much for joining me. Now, if you did like the video, please give us a thumbs up. That would help me out a great deal. Thank you. Or come and join me in the comment section below. I do read all the comments, and I do reply to at least most of them. I really do, because I do love the interaction that we have there. So... Uh, what else do I need to say? Um, yes, come and join me on Patreon if you so desire. Link is in the description. Or become a channel member. Click the join button underneath this video. That would be fantastic as well. Thank you all so much. Come and join me on Friday, this Friday, 7pm GMT for the Friday Night Live. Let's laugh at some stupid. And don't forget to join me this Sunday at 8pm for the Sunday Stupid. Thank you all so much for joining me. Uh, what else do I need to say? Yes, I love you all to the moon and back. Turn off for a bit.